Second, breakdown of constitutional machinery. Now, under what circumstances? Please underline. If the president receives a report from the governor or otherwise is satisfied that the governance of a state cannot be carried on in accordance with the provisions of the constitution, he, he here refers to president, may declare an emergency in the state. And this is called president's rule. Now, why? Because the president may assume, assume or accepts to himself all or any of the functions of the government of the state. Now, what is the duration of such an emergency? Please underline. The duration of such an emergency, such an emergency means president's rule is for two months. If it were to continue beyond two months, it should be ratified, ratified or agreed by the parliament. The proclamation will cease, cease or stop to be valid for six months after the date of its issue, even if the parliament ratifies or agrees to it. It can, however, be extended for another six months. Thus, underline, President's rule can normally continue only for a year. However, it may be extended beyond one year under two conditions. Now, which are the two conditions under which the President's rule can be extended for more than a year? First, when a proclamation of emergency is in operation, either in whole of India or in any part of the state. And the second condition, the election commission certifies or it declares that holding elections to the legislative assembly of the state is difficult. However, no such proclamation shall remain in force for more than three years. Next, we have the effects of emergency in a state. Now, how does this emergency affect the state's normal functioning? First, the state administration is directly placed under the president, that is the union government. The governor of the concerned state acts in accordance with the instructions that are issued or given by the union government from time to time. Second, the president may dissolve the Vidhan Sabha of the state and dismiss the council of ministers or Keep the Assembly and the Council of Ministers in suspended animation. So these are the two powers which the President has. He can dissolve the Vidhan Sabha of the state and dismiss the Council of Ministers or keep the Assembly and the Council of Ministers in suspended animation. And in both cases, the Union Parliament can pass laws even on all the subjects of the state list for that particular state where the President's rule has been declared. Even the annual budget of that state is presented to and passed by the parliament. Third, when the Lok Sabha is not in session. When the Lok Sabha is not in session, the president may authorize expenditure out of the consolidated fund of the state. Consolidated fund, girls, we have already studied what is consolidated fund. So the president may authorize expenditure out of the consolidated fund of the state. Fourth, the president may suspend the provision or he may stop the provision of the constitution that is related to any authority of the state except those relating to the high courts. Now, a few examples are given here. This form of emergency, this form here refers to the president's rule of emergency is quite common in India and president's rule has been imposed or it has been forced in a state at one time or the other. The first instance or the first example of the president's rule was in 1951. It was in Punjab. In 1977, nine states were brought under the president's rule on the pretext that the state assemblies no longer reflected the views of the people. Then the next one was in December 1992. President's rule was imposed on Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Himachal Pradesh. Next was in October 21, 1997. The Union Cabinet recommended the imposition of President's rule in Uttar Pradesh following acts of violence in the Vidhan Sabha. So there was acts of violence in the Vidhan Sabha. There was no law and order, no discipline in the Vidhan Sabha. The President felt that acts of violence did not imply breakdown of constitutional machinery. So 
he returned the recommendation for proclamation of president's rule for reconsideration now in the year uh, 2013 president's rule was imposed in jharkhand from january 28 2013 to july 12 2013 now this was because bjp's ruling coalition partner jmm that is jharkhand mukti morcha withdrew its support to the government pushing it into minority chief minister arjun munda resigned and sought dissolution of the state assembly i wind up my today's class with this example girls kindly go through the points whatever we have studied today tomorrow we shall continue with the financial emergency good day